I want to start by something that's not on this piece of paper. And, you know, my speech is about service. And I, I look around at these faces today, and I can't help but thank our parents. And so if you're going to, if you're in NHS or you are going to be in NHS, if you could give your parents a round of applause. They brought you into this world. So there's a saying in this world that we should love our neighbors, right? You've all heard it. You know, maybe it doesn't exactly apply to you, but when one examines, <laughs> when one examines this phrase, to love your neighbor, you know, there's some deep human passion there to really help your neighbor. Now, this doesn't mean the person that lives down your road. That means the person sitting next to you. That means your best friend at school. That means even your teachers. You know, that deep internal passion to love your neighbor. And I, I read an article once, um, and, it, and it said broadly that love are, is fleeting. It's these fleeting moments. The people that we love in our lives, like our parents and our best friends, those people are the people that we feel these fleeting moments with the most often. You know, the feeling you get when someone reaches down and picks up a textbook that you just dropped, it's such a great feeling. The moment when someone, when someone sees that you have a problem on the side of the road and they pull over, and it, it's someone that you would never expect to pull over, and they pull over and they ask you, what can I do to help? Are you okay? You love that person in that moment. And I certainly would not be here if I had not helped as much as I could, if I had not been helped an extreme amount. I've probably been helped more than I have given back. But there's this idea that this love is, is so integral to everything and everybody. So for my service project this year, I took something that I do a lot. I play the violin. And I wanted to see what I could do with that. And I was lucky enough to be invited um, to play at many of our sports games here at PA and at the, uh, the girls' championships for soccer. That was a really great experience. It was freezing cold. My fingers were going to fall. I, I mean, I don't even know. It's like they were going to fall right off. Those strings were really sharp in that moment. But I felt like maybe there was someone in that crowd there was someone on our soccer team or on the other team who was listening to the anthem and they were getting ready to have a great game. You know, there's that deep feeling. So give your music if you're a musician. Give your writing if you're a writer. You know, that's what you can do with your skills. Give back in that way. And to kind of, to kind of conclude this all, I want to bring it back to our parents. My dad waves to everybody. <laughs> Literally everybody. And I, and like, we drive through a McDonald's drive through and there's a worker taking out the trash, and he waves to them. And one day I said, Dad, why do you wave to everybody? And he replied, because one day you may be less fortunate, and the people you wave to will always be on your side. And isn't that the essence of service? <laughs>